In Rock County, a similar approach has been taken with the first H1N1 vaccinations being handed out today. News 3's Brad Jameson joins us. He's live from the Janesville Job Center, home of today's clinic. Brad. Well, Eric, the original plan was not to be here today. Up until yesterday, the t the Clint today's clinic was to be scheduled at Clinton High School tomorrow at Beloit Turner. But with the recommended changes from the state, those clinics were canceled, and the health department has been trying to adjust. Carlito Suardos thinks the vaccine tickles. He and his sisters received the intranasal H1N1 vaccine in Janesville, but it wasn't what his family had planned. We were planning on going to Clinton High School today to get it, and then I found out this morning that it had been changed. The Rock County Health Department intended to hold clinics at area school districts to make it easier to reach students. The group that we had hoped to immunize through our school-located clinics, our school-aged children, is almost entirely cut out of those groups. Clinics held at the Rock County Job Center are focused on convenience for those looking for the vaccine, although not everyone can get it. I have three kids, and this is the only one who qualified today for the shots, so we decided we'll get him covered. Ed Ganson's other two children stayed at home while the youngest got the vaccine. We had planned on taking them to Clinton for their shots, but then when they canceled that, uh, they were only doing it for the two to four year olds. So we said, well, we'll get the youngest one taken care of and do it as we can. Like many in Rock County, his family too will have to wait until the vaccine is more readily available. We've got five in our family and if everybody got it, we'd be, you know, looking at a month or so of people sick in and out. So we're just trying to stay ahead of it. Now, public health officials say about 170 people have been immunized today, and most of those have been kids between two and four years old. That's really the target group that they're focusing on. They only have the intranasal uh, vaccine, so pregnant women have not been able to get that here today. However, the health department says once these vaccines become more available, they will continue to help uh, get the word out on where uh, people in the community can get that. They said the easiest way to get the latest on the vaccine status in the county is to call the H1N1 flu hotline in Rock County. That number is 608 Four one fifty two hundred, and also again, they will be here tomorrow at the job center from three until seven. All right, Brad James reporting live in Janesville tonight. Brad, thank you.